What is up guys, Fixin today doing another Sunny Vegas tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really simple and easy underwater slash muffled sound effect. So this isn't a video tutorial as such, but more to do with audio. And yeah, it's really simple and it looks something like this. Okay, so now we're here in Sony Vegas. So basically this is what we're going to make, this is what it will turn out as, and I'm just going to show you how to duplicate this. So first of all, just want to get your clip. Actually, I'm going to delete all of these, and we can delete this marker. Okay, so this is my clip, and of course, first thing you always need to do, right click, hit properties, hit disable resample and instantly looks so much nicer. Now, I'm going to use, once it gets to here, final kill cam. So just about there. Trim the start. Can move this all the way over. And then the next thing you want to do is find where you hit the water. So this is presuming if you're going to use it this way. So yes, if it hits the water, so that's about there. And then what you want to do is put a marker there. And then just hit S and that will split it. And then I'm going to go to there. So that's pretty much it. That's the clip, the length of it, and the spot where the muffled effect is going to come in. So now your music, I'm using Renaissance by Stephen James, or Steve James. I really don't know where I got this song. I think it's an NCS song, but I'm not sure. Now I want to pick where you're going to use it. So me, I believe that was here. Yeah, okay, so that's the spot I want to use. So I'm just going to go here and trim start and trim end, and we can move this over. Now, preferably in your song, you want to use a point where the song changes or it's not just the same thing over and over again. So if we listen to this here and look at that spot there. You can see there's that sort of like robot beeping sound. So what you want to do is if we just split that there, you want to line that up with the marker where it changes. So basically you have like a definite change in the song when it muffles. So this really helps to emphasize the muffled sound. So at the end, I'm just going to put a fade in here. One and a half seconds and I'll put a fade there and then I'll do the same at the end. So yeah, just there's just to polish up a bit. You only need to do this. I just like to do it. Okay, so that's that clip and we've got it all set up to where we want it to happen. So now we need to actually add the muffle effect. So what we want to do is click on this button here and this is where you choose your plugins. Now these will all be default. These don't need anything installed. This just comes uh, packed with Sony Vegas. You want amplitude modulation and you want track EQ. So just click add, hit OK and this is them. So first thing we're going to do is go to Amplitude Modulation. Now I have a preset uh, called Muffle, but if you set this to default, this is what it's going to look like for you. So what you want to do is wet out, you want to drag this to the top, and this will give you the most muffle. And if you want to emphasize that a bit more, you can always make it a bit quieter, which I usually like to do, and put it to about 30. And then you want to check all three boxes here. Blend Graph Edges, Low Pass Start, and tempo sync. And then once you've done that, that's pretty much it. That's exactly what my muffle is. And that's pretty much it for amplitude modulation. So now we want to go over to track EQ. So now we're here again, I have a preset, but for you, it's just going to look like this. So what we want to do is drag the one here and drag all the way up to the max just before the, just before the in line with the two. So at about 160 and then we grab four. And you're going to put it also at about 160. So we put this to muffle. That's basically what I have set for that preset. And now once you've done that, that's pretty much the only effects you have to do. So if we listen to this here, you should notice a huge difference. So it sounds a little more muffled but also a bit more bass heavy. 
So basically, if you just want a muffled sound, you just use amplitude modulation. But using track EQ and increasing the bass like that and reducing the high end quite a lot, that gives it a much deeper sound. I think it improves it. You don't have to use this, but I think it just enhances the effect a bit more. If you're doing it with someone talking, you might not want to do this because it will probably make their voices, I don't know, not really sound like them. But for music, I definitely recommend using the track EQ as well. So yeah, basically just only use this if it's music. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. I know it was kind of a short one, but I'm recording this in advance to going away. I'll actually already be away by the time you're watching this. And these tutorials, I'm like refilming them in one day. So they might be a bit shorter. And But I'm also trying to make them more regular. So if I want to make Sony Vegas tutorials more regular, I really need to know what to make because I spend a lot of time mucking around trying to decide what you guys would want to see a tutorial on. Because there's just so many things in Sony Vegas that sometimes I think they're kind of too simple and they're going to be too short or other times they seem too complicated and and if it's going to take longer than 10-12 minutes I just feel like you guys aren't going to stay tuned and aren't really going to want to watch that. So I really need to know what you want to see. If you guys leave comments down below with suggestions and ask for things you want to see then it really helps me and it means I can make these tutorials more often and basically just something you want not just something that might come in useful on the off chance so please leave any suggestions below it's always really really appreciated and with that that's pretty much it so see you in the next one bye guys